Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. Joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge is with us on the sidelines. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Gordon Hayward. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Dwight Levine on the wing. Paul Gasol is out there with DeRozan. And it's Ball in at the one. And for the Hornets. In at the guard spots, Ball and Rozier. Miller is out there with Bridges, and it's Williams at the center position. And more and more in the NBA, Greg, we're seeing teams face each other twice in a row just like this. Do the players like this kind of scheduling, you think? Listen, players are in favor of anything that cuts down on travel, and this is one of the ways to do it. The, the league's doing a lot to make the season less of a grind. Gasol, a screen on ball. Gasol against Miller. A nice Gasol. shot by Gasol. Gasol's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Bulls. Miller kicks to Williams. Back to Miller. Bridges a screen on Levine. To the inside. Bridges misses. Chicago shooting their first free throw of the night. And, and on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. At the line for the Bulls, Kobe White at the line. One shot. And that one falls for White. Hey, Greg, to touch on the Bulls for a moment, defense has been an emphasis for them. It has, and they went through several years playing subpar D, and it cost them. They began to turn things around a couple seasons ago, and it has served them well. Now, here's Ball. Outside, Levine launches a three. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. You can see the work Levine has put in on his three-point shot. He is now a legit threat from deep. Miller against Levine. Outside, ball. Right side, Williams. He can't get it to go. Gasol with the defensive effort. It's been a quick start here for Chicago. Their last encounter was in Chicago. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. The coaching staff has been happy with how well they've executed the game plan. They operated as a cohesive unit. Here's Bridges following the score by DeMar DeRozan. Rozier the pass to Bridges. Back to Rozier. Four on the shot clock. To halt the run, Williams. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. And then once Rozier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. Now here's DeRozan. He's coming off a 19-point game against Charlotte. Got a hand on it. White against Ball. No good on that one. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Levine is screen on Bridges. Rolls up on the elbow. That doesn't go either for DeRozan. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Bridges inside. Guarded by Levine. Bridges misses. Still very early, but that's not the start they want. One for five shooting. Pass to DeRozan. Counted. His second make in four attempts. DeRozan. The closer DeRozan gets, the more dangerous he is. That's fantastic work inside. Ball against Ball. Ball, the pass to Miller. Back to ball. 
Williams a screen on ball. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Well, the last time GA the Hornets made the playoffs was back in 2016. And that was during Steve Clifford's first stint with the organization. I'm sure that played a factor in their decision to bring him back as head coach. And the first one at the line is good. Taken third overall in 2020, LaMelo Ball is a unique player. Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. And so he hits both. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Bulls leading by six. DeRozan scanning the floor. Count it. DeRozan's got six. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Ball against ball. Ball dishes to Bridges. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Just so precise off the pass. I, I like how Bridges prepares himself to shoot as the ball is coming his way. Ball finds DeRozan to the middle. Levine wide open. Another three for Chicago. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Bridges a screen on white. Rozier with the ball. Foul guarded by DeRozan. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rozier. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. For Chicago, they've gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Ball, the pass to DeRozan. Knocks it loose. And so the ball is out of bounds. Rozier touched it last. And the Eastern Conference has been fun to watch. A lot of focus as always this year. And as we hit the midseason surge, let's check out the standings and how they're shaping up. A look at Chicago. They're sixth right now in the conference with lots of time to make a move. And of course, the Hornets, they're down in the ninth position. And you know, for the Hornets, they're one of those teams that hasn't quite figured it out this year. A lot of talent, a lot of heart, but nothing to put them up on that next level. And you have to wonder if this roster can get to that next level. They have talent, but if it doesn't come together, they might have to shake it up. Outside ball. And Ball slams it in. Get up, LaMelo. These Ball brothers can fight. And the pass to DeRozan. Fade away. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. And it's eight points for DeMar DeRozan. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. This is it to Ball. DeRozan against Bridges. Here's Rozier. No scoring in this one. That one falls. A good decision maker. Rozier takes and makes the shot he's comfortable with. Ball kicks to White. No good on the triple. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And the call will be against Romello Ball. That is his first foul of the game. Really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Lonzo Ball. Alex Caruso. Now Caruso. Eight points his last outing. Or three, Levine, good on the three-point shot. Levine's got nine points. 
And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. Ball against White. And here is Ball. His last outing, he had 24 points. Here's Williams, and Williams with the stuff. And the passing ball displays night in and night out is impressive. He takes pride in his ability to facilitate. Now here's White. His last outing, he had eight points. Pass to DeRozan. Outside, Levine. There's the triple. They get it again. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. It's Miller on the wing. Guarded by Levine. Shots good by Miller. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Hey, Greg, what do you like about Brandon Miller's game? You know, Kevin, for me, his combination of length and skill is something every team is looking for. The, the key in his development will be adding strength and enhancing his ability to attack off the bounce. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. in for ball. Joaquin Noah is checked in for the Bulls. Hornets trail by eight. Rozier looking around from past the arc. Gasol pulls it in. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Here's Caruso. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Gordon Hayward. For Alex Caruso, the, the advanced numbers say he is one of the best defenders in the league. The eye test backs that up. Caruso just sticks to guys, performs very well against the best guards in the game, is tremendous at anticipating sets. It shows his basketball IQ. And he knocks down the first one. And so Caruso nails both of them. So here's one for you, RJ. Is there anyone in the league right now that reminds you of yourself as a player? Now, if we're talking about me in my prime, and I hope these players don't get disrespected, but Jalen Brown and Andrew Wiggins, just the way they play, some of the moves that they make, like I can see myself doing those things. Now here's White. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Pass to Caruso. Dwight. 
Miller against DeRozan. Here's White. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Ogier the pass to Williams. In the corner, it's Hayward. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Now the pass to Caruso. Back to White. Outside to Rosen. Over in the corner, Caruso. This all set in the pick for Caruso. Bridges with the board. Hornets trail by 12. On the wing, Rogier. White covering, and the call will be against Joe Kim Noah. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. It's stolen by DeRozan. And they've got to get their heads into this game. They're giving the ball away far too easily. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. And you have to feel for him. That's the kind of miss that will stick with you for a little bit. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Chicago. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. Also, they're getting into the teeth of the defense. Points in the paint, something coaches always love to see. Bulls making a switch here. Levine's checked in. Zach Levine. Bulls leading by 13. Now here's DeRozan. Eight points for him. Nice move. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. Now here's White. He has seven, and that one's good by Noah. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. They came out and bum-rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. Here is Williams. 11 points for him in that last game against the Bulls in Chicago. And how about the defensive impact he's had, racking up three blocks and making his presence felt. He just looks off this quarter. Looks like he's forcing it a bit right now, a little bit in his head. Here's Bridges. Misses, and the dry spell continues. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. And another turnover here by Chicago. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Washington's checked in for Williams. Cody Martin comes in for Miller. LaMelo Ball, he's checked in for Miles Bridges. And it's Neil Aquina in for Terry Rozier. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Chicago. Carter comes in for White. Hornets trail by 15. Ball with it. Right now, he averages nearly 23 points a game, a relentless offensive force. And with a quick break in the action, here are some numbers for Zach Levine. Putting up about 22 points per, three assists, and three rebounds. And he does so much for this team, but it starts with the way he leads the offense. And he's willing to take on the scoring load. And look, he is more than capable of delivering. Noah with a screen on Martin. Passes it to Noah. Now here's Levine. That one falls coming off Carter's feed. Levine's got 11. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Ball against Caruso. Pass to Nilakina. Five on the clock. Can they get it? Ball no good. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. 
Caruso finds Carter. Craig with a screen on Hayward. Here's Caruso. No good on the three. Hornets trail by 17. Pass to Martin. And here is Washington. And again, the Hornets missing. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Caruso, no good. Charlotte has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Ball against Caruso. Ball feeling it out a bit. Out to Hayward. Three-pointer. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. It's Chicago leading by 17. We've got more in store for you right after this. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a comfortable margin for the Bulls here, guys. Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. They're playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. Here's Washington. Still scoreless. So with Gasol on the bench. Here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. They've got Torrey Craig, Alex Caruso out there with Carter, then it's Zach Levine, and it's Noah in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now, here's Ball. Charlotte moving the ball around. Just three to shoot, stolen by Carter. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Bulls... Lean in on their veteran. And core. Zach Levine said, you just got to be consistent every day and have championship habits. Each and every day, you've got to have a goal in mind and get to that mindset of, we're building for something. We've all sacrificed a little bit for the greater good. Kevin? And that's what we're talking about. That's what it takes. David, thanks. The first free throw is good. Coaches say, G.A., the league has a problem when it's punishing the retaliators and not the instigators. Do they have a point? Kevin, I think so. Uh, for any scuffle, it's worth asking who started it, and, and that's what we do in life normally, right? Second free throw, no good. Hornets trail by 18. Here's Neela Kina. No good there. Ice D from Levine. Carter looking around. And there's the pass to Craig. Now 
Back to Carter. Clock at six. Kicks to Levine. Over Martin. Hornets with the rebound. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Neely Kina passes the ball. Over in the corner, Washington. Blocking foul called on. Alex Caruso. First personal foul. Anzo Ball is checked in for Javon Carter. Bull substitution. Number two. Lonzo Ball. Here's Nilakina. Still yet to score. Outside ball. Outside for Martin. Four on the clock. Rebound collected by Levine. Levine's got four rebounds in this game. No good from outside. Three triples in the first quarter, but he's yet to knock one down here in the second. Ball dishes to Martin. No good with the triple. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Pass to Levine. Noah with a screen for Levine. Here's Craig. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Craig's got his first two points of the night. Because he draws so much attention on offense, the D, look, they're going to have problems with Levine, and it opens up some great passing lanes for him. Now here is Martin. And it's Ball in the corner. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. He's about as smart a player as you'll find. LaMelo going to the up fake to earn the trip to the line. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. This season, 88% on the line, so he has been in a comfort zone. And he makes the first. Some changes for Charlotte. Bridges is checked in for Neil Aquina, and Miller's subbed in for Cody Martin. Ball hits them both. And so Levine will bring it up now for Chicago. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Well, it doesn't always have to be a thing of beauty, but when you can get a win in a game like that. That's really all you care about. And, and listen to me. Once Levine gets a lane, he's going to charge. Earning the foul in the process, just a beautiful thing. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And with his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. The first one falls. And the definition of a three-level score, RJ, Zach Levine can fill it up with the best of them. Yeah, Greg, and with his blend of deep range and elevation, I don't know, he might be a four- or five-level score. One thing's for certain, this man's fun to watch. And so Levine nails both of them. Players with this type of athleticism have Zach Levine. Historically, they keep people watching on TV, and they keep people in the crowd. Why? Because you never know what you're going to see from them. Ball finds Washington. Bridges outside. 
Six on the shot clock. The kick out to Ball. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Ball's got five points in the quarter. And Ball continues to show he can drain threes. The defense must adjust or he is going to keep doing damage. Now here's Noah. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. And even with a big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. If he has space in the mid-range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are up big. Ball against Ball. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And a look now at some of the players we can expect to see in this year's dunk contest. Always one of the great events of All-Star Weekend. It is, Kevin. You just can't take your eyes off it. The ideas those guys come up with and then the guts it takes to pull them off always blows me away. Well, you look at Miller, and I know he'd like to make a move up in the consideration he's got all the athleticism you hope for from a dunk contest participant. He sure does. Lots of competition, though, in the running this year to get that big invite. So there you go. And as it's looking, this year's dunk contest is shaping up to be a fantastic competition. We'll keep you updated on the voting. No doubt it's going to be a good one, Kevin. Uh, we've got players on that list who'll do things that you didn't even think were possible. Hayward kicks to Bridges. Shoots over DeRosa. Bridges misses. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Back to Caruso. Miller against Levine. Floats one. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. But he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. Ball, the pass to Washington. And again, the Hornets missing. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Connects from three-point range. You could see his confidence on that shot. DeMar DeRozan catches it, fires it without a pause. Hayward against Caruso. Hayward passes the ball. Washington with a screen on Ball. Ball finds Washington to end the run. Ball no good. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. Ball with it, now guarded by Ball. The wide open look here for DeRozan. And there's the foul, it's on Miles Bridges. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Williams, he's checked in for Charlotte. And a change for the Bulls. Pau Gasol has checked in for Alex Caruso. Outside, Ball. Back to Gasol. Five to shoot. A good look from DeRozan. Nice shot from the wing. DeRozan's got five points now this quarter. This is where DeRozan makes his living. Such an excellent mid-range shooter. Charlotte calls timeout. Well, always interesting to check out the first-year stars of the NBA. And on that list are the rookies who have been almost automatic from the field this past month. If on the list, Brandon Miller. And his confidence is going to keep growing if he continues shooting like he has over the past month. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. And tonight, I expect them to play better offensively. Try to get some closer looks. Shot clock at three. Shots good by Miller. And the concentration there from Miller, not phased at all by the contact. DeRozan with it. Now defended by Hayward. And they double up DeRozan. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Williams. First personal for Chicago, they have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. At the line for the Bulls. 
Joe Kim Noah going to the line shooting two. And the first one drops. A, a versatile player. Noah scores, he rebounds, passes, and defends at a high level. And the Hornets making a change here. Rogier's checked in. And so he's able to get one of two. Charlotte's gone one of two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Hayward dishes to Miller. A crossover. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Miller's got four this quarter. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. To the wing on the left. Williams against DeRozan. Here's Gasol. Out to DeRozan. Over Williams. DeRozan gets the bucket. And that's 15 points for DeMar DeRozan. The Hornets have gone just 33% for the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Yes, three of nine. Rozier, the pass to Bridges. That three off the mark. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. DeRozan against Bridges. Williams with the block, and they get it back. And it's DeRozan missing. Charlotte shooting terribly up to this point, just 30%. Some ramshackle offense play there. Rozier against Ball. Bridges kicks to Rozier. Pass to Miller. Fires for three. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. And he's doing everything he can offensively to lift them out of this hole. But I'm not sure his hot shooting can do it alone. DeRozan with it, and it's Miller picking him up. Levine for three, makes that one his sixth of the night, shooting a very healthy six for nine. And let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. Ball against Rogier. Pass to Miller. Shot clock at five. Rogier for three. That's in, coming off an assist from Miller. Rogier's got five. And not just the score. Miller condition as well, showing great vision on that play. Ball, the pass to Gasol. Levine for three. Miller grabs the miss. Hornets have gone five and 12 from the field here in the second. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Noah's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And the basket by DeRozan. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Now, here's Rogier. 14 points from him the last game against Chicago. And how about the vision he displayed? Great job getting others involved and piling up the assist. Chicago's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. And DeRozan kicks to Levine. Sinks the three-pointer. Levine's got 21 in the game. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. Miller against DeRozan. Here's Rogier. He has five. Back to Miller. Rogier finds Miller. Now, here's Rogier. Two minutes remaining in the first half. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Here's a look at some of the stats for Paul Gasol. And it's a nice month he's having. Something's got him motivated. He's become a much bigger contributor offensively. He's settled into the kind of groove that every player wants to get in. LaMelo Ball, he's checked in for the Hornets. White, he's checked in for Chicago. 
ball, feeling it out a bit. Here's DeRozan. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got four assists now tonight. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Ball, the pass to Williams. No good again that time. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. The pass to Gasol. Ball from long range. Another three for Chicago. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, here's Rogier. He's got five. Outside, ball. Nifty move. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Lonzo Ball picks one up. And with all that LaMelo does on the floor, Ball is one of the most difficult guys to guard in the league. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Ball. Carter, he's checked in for the Bulls. Ball hits them both. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities. Get to the line. Now, here's DeRozan. He's got 19. Gasol is screen on Bridges. Here's DeRozan. And the Bulls tack on two more. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. So Rogier will bring it up for Charlotte. He kicks it to Ball. Goes back up. He scores the basket. That's field goal number three for him. Just sticking with it there. Ball's rebounding is so important to this team. For three, Levine. The Hornets pull it in. Now Rogier. He's got five. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Rogier's got seven points in the game. He's a competitor. He, even amongst the trees, Rozier has such confidence in his ability to finish. And so it's Zach Levine making things happen for Chicago. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points and counting. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Clifford. What was the biggest problem for your guys in the first half? Well, you know what? We're a defensive team first, and we've been good defensively. We've been organized. We weren't that in that first half, and that's what we got to concentrate on to get the game going back our way. See if you revert back to your form in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Welcome everybody to halftime. NBA action abounds. Let's see what games are tipping off later. The Houston Rockets will be playing against the Heat in Miami. 7.30 Eastern for the tip off in that one. Two of the best in the league in that one. What a measuring stick game. A good chance to see how good your team really is. Now for a moment to look at our game. Everything and I mean everything is falling into place for the Chicago Bulls. You've got to be impressed with their unselfishness. They're moving the ball with ease, looking to keep each other involved. That's a total team effort. It's entertaining to watch, as long as you're not the team they're playing. 
And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. You talk about dialed in. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. 